Okay, guys. So, <laughs> it's windy. And it's round two of the Southern League and Opens. Sea Fishing League, man. Um, we were meant to fish down. Is my headlamp on? We were meant to fish down at Friars Cliff. However, it was moved because of storm Eunice yesterday. Um, just so it was safe for everyone and all that stuff. So it's been moved to Leon the Solon. I don't want to say that this is my nemesis beach. However, I think I will say that I wouldn't, unless I'm on the kayak. Whoa, it's blowy. Unless I'm on the kayak, I wouldn't fish here for fun. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, anyways, we got some baits. I prepared a bunch of baits earlier today because I had loads of time. Man, I was bored. Um, what do we got? So we've got some chunks of mackerel. That's to tip off my worms with. And I've also got some bluey and squid wraps and some strips of squid for my sand deal. Um, so in this nice little package, I've got some ragworm and I've also got some sand deal. Now, I'm not a fan of sand deal. I don't think I've ever caught anything on sand deal, but I've been doing some research and I think now I know how to, I know how to rig it perfectly. For rigs, I'm not going three hooks tonight. I am going either two hook clip downs or a one up one down. I've gone slightly bigger hooks than I usually use because what I'm hoping for is a ray um, and some dogfish. So that's what I'm gonna be fishing for tonight. Uh, it's about 7.30 now, so I think what I'm going to do is, um, you know how it works, I'm going to go, I'm going to collect my Zen, uh, I'm not using the A10 tonight, I'm using the Century, because it's a bit windy, and I think the Century will hold better in this, in this wind, so. but we're just going to see man, what we're going to do is we're going to fish this, and we're gonna hope for some fish. Um, it starts tonight, round two starts five man teams. So we've got our team here for fish on bait and tackle. Uh, hopefully we, we can all get some fish, man. It's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. Whew. Right, let's go Zen. We've got about 20 minutes to show time. I've got my rigs out and ready. Just wanted to show you this is my one up. Here's the top of my rig. My one up. And here's the bottom of my rig. And one down, yeah? The thing with this is, it's like a dropper rig. So you get this, you get your bait on there, and you hook that into the imp. You hook your bait, your bottom hook into the imp. And then I've got a cascade swivel running freely. I couldn't say that very, running freely, running freely up and down the line. And then I get my top hook and I clip that into, if I can see the cascade swivel. And then I've got a clipped rig like so. Now when this hits the, the water, the imp releases, that's up on the rig body, and my bottom hook has slid down the line to the bottom. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's gonna pull me something in tonight, man. It's, <laughs> I don't know, I'm feeling fishy. I'm feeling fishy right now. So uh, let's just see how it goes. I'm nice and I'm relaxed. Let's get this done, man. 20 minutes. And we're casting out. Next time I see you, hopefully, we got some fish, man. First baits in the water. Oh. Okay, hopefully.
we need to do is just catch. It's just catch fish. Like that's what we need to do. Nothing special. If we get something special, great. If we don't, it's not, <laughs> it's not so great. Ah! We're officially underway. This tide is moving up faster than I thought it was gonna. Um, yeah, about that. I might have to move my bivy, but uh, we're in, man. Now we just need some fish. Cross your fingers, boys and girls. Cross your fingers, man. I'm gonna bring this in, because I think I've had a hit on it already. Hopefully, I don't know, but let's bring it in and see. I don't feel any weight on it at all. Nope. Shite. Oh, actually. There we go. Yes, first fish of the night, little white in. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that was on the Sandio as well. Cool stuff. All right, we're starting at a good start now, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. All right, let me get this bad boy back out. Here we go guys, fish number one. That's what I'm talking about. We're off to a good start already. All right, so we got us a white in, in the first 15 minutes of the match, dude. I'm happy with that, that's cool. Okay, Whew. we didn't blank, and that's what I care about. Now, we just need him to keep on coming in and be a little bit bigger. Dogfish tonight would be nice. A couple dogfish. A ray would be super duper. Uh, hopefully, man. We'll see. That's all we can do is see, right? Whew. Yes. All right. Let's get these baits in. Let's see what we got going here. I don't think I've left them in long enough. These ones. To be fair. Come on, man. Top up would be nice, but nah. Nothing this time, boys and girls. All right, got the baits out. What's going on here? Oh, I didn't unhook. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, let me get these other baits out quick. Couple more top ups. Where'd he go? He's so tiny, I can't even find him. Uh, there he is. This guy. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> the beast. <laughs> so that's the first hour. We've got three ounces. I'm pretty happy with that, man. I'm gonna go and get these signed off by next door. I got the baits out already. I've got a bait back up, because they're coming in, man. We're doing this. Woohoo! So, just had a dogfish, and I didn't record it. 55 centimeters. I'm not lying. 55 centimeters, and that comes out to 27 ounces. So now we're at, 27, 28, 29, 30 ounces. I'm, uh, 
I'm happy with that, dude. I'm like really happy with that. So hopefully they keep on coming, man. God, I love this match. Fishing malarkey, man. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's not too blowy, really. I can't believe I didn't get that dogfish on camera. It's because I thought it was caught up in the weed. I thought I was just going to pull in some weed so I didn't turn the camera on. It's pretty silly of me, isn't it? But, okay. Watching the rod, man. Watching the rod. All right, guys. There's two more for the pot. Boom. Only top-ups. They're only top-ups. But we're getting there, man. We are getting there. Fish are coming in. Then that's what we want. Consistently. Is it consistent? Yes, consistently catch. That's all we need, man. Whew. Yes, stoked. Yes. I'm so gutted right now. Just had a crack him by and I didn't let it develop. Gosh darn it. So, that means no fish. So I'm gonna rig this up. I'm gonna put double sand deal on this time. And hopefully, oh man. We can get that bite back, man. Gosh darn. We are, we're three hours in right now. Man, and we've got, let's see. I've got the dogfish 55, which comes out to 27 ounces. That's 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We're at 32 ounces right now. So, that's just over 10 ounces an hour, man. I've missed two cracking bites, dude, and I can't, oh, I'm so gutted about that. The first one was quick, too, and then I think it might have been like a conger, because it was like, bam! Could have been a bass as well, I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're getting fish. And I think the tide is moving up, and I'm gonna have to move my business. <laughs> I put it too close to the water, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, two hours left. Two hours left. Mm, come on, man. Come on. All right. I thought I was over, man. And we got us another white. Oh, it's only a little one, and it's a top up. But we got it. And I, I'm going to have to move back because the tide's coming in hot and heavy right now, man. All right, let me go get this little dude signed off. Uh, add up to my tally. And then see what I need to do with the bivy and stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to move it. Dang it. Uh, that wind is picked up again, man. It's like, it's relentless, the wind today. Uh, Nothing, nothing else yet, man. Um, I had to move all my stuff, so that took some time. And I think, I can't even see bites anymore because it's so windy. So, I'm gonna have to give it 20 minutes or so. The guy next to me, he is just banging it. Trouble shots every cast. But, he's also cast into the moon. So, there is this whole thing, does, does casting distance really help? Yes, man, it does. Uh, right, we've got another hour, one more hour left. Uh, hopefully we can pull some last little guys in because that tide's ripping up this shoreline really quickly, man. Um, so when we first got here, the tide run was going to the left. Now it's ripping to the right. It is like hardcore stuff, man. And weed, loads of weed. It's probably from the storm, but is what it is, man. So, all right. Fingers crossed for a couple more, man. Fingers crossed for a couple more. Right. We've got half an hour left, which means two chucks. It looks like, unless we get a uh, 
ooh, a wave to wash us away. I need to hurry this up because I gotta move. Unless we get us like a lucky pal or another YN, we've got 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Wait, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. I'm happy with that. To be completely honest with you, I'm totally happy with it. The wind, Oh, I hate the wind. Ah. Right now, dude, that wind is crazy. I'm glad we've only got five minutes left because the wind, the wind is it's just silly now. My lips sticking to my teeth. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit silly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reel in now, man. And, uh, Wow, the water's coming in. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna reel in now. I think what we've done, if I don't pull in another fish now, which I highly doubt, because the sea's really rough, um, we finished with 33 centimeters. I mean, 30, 33 ounces. So I'm really happy with that, dude. So, yeah, bam. <laughs> All right. If you guys like, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, here comes the wind. <laughs> oh. All right, I gotta get this going. If you guys like this video, man, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel out. It helps out the whole algorithm and all that stuff, man. And I'm going to get blown away in a minute. So I'll see you guys next time.